again, friends. We are on the last lesson discussing our ministry. I hope you have all learned a lot. We've learned that ministry is serving God. It is a way to show and tell people about Jesus. Jesus asks that we go and tell all the world the news about him. We learn that God can use each and every one of us. We've learned that what to do when we are scared or aren't perfect in our ministry. And we've talked about the times when ministry isn't fun. Now, let's discuss who gets credit for our ministry. Who do you think it is? It feels good to get compliments, doesn't it? We like it when someone tells us we've done a good job. We want people to notice when we have helped out or even when we didn't have to. It's nice to be extra appreciated. Often in ministry though, we don't and we shouldn't get compliments. What I mean is we are being obedient to God. We are doing what he has asked us to do and through us, he is helping people. Let's pretend like I'm having a really hard week. I'm very, very sad. My husband, teacher Shane, is praying and the Holy Spirit tells him that I need something special to help me out. So teacher Shane comes to me and offers to pray for me. Then he takes me out to our nice dinner. Now he's the one who did the nice things, but it was in obedience to God. So even if I don't say how sweet he is or how great he is, he is being obedient to God. So he knows that God is proud of him and he can be happy in the fact that he has done what the Lord had asked him to do and help me in my time of need. He doesn't need the credit. God's goal has been completed. We are all on God's team. Pentecost Sunday is next week. We're going to talk about the Holy Spirit, how it empowered Peter and the people in the ministry. Remember, I love you and God loves you too.